and welcome to Saints Row. Uh, as some of you may know, the long-awaited sequel Saints Row 3 is coming out this winter. Uh, Saints Row 2 was a huge success, so I thought it was a little bit timely to look back and see where it all started with a game that uh, has fun parts and has really good voice acting, really good sound stuff, a uh, really fun story, but also has a lot of problems with it. So I thought it'd be good to take a look back and see where we began, how excited we are. Uh, I love Saints Row 2. Um, I can't say I love this game as much. I probably wouldn't play it if I hadn't already played Saints Row 2. But, you know, it definitely has its strong points, and you can definitely see where, uh, where we got to. So, getting right into things, he's our character creator. We have some options. I'm not going to spend too much time around. Uh, I just have a few characteristics I like my characters to have. Uh, since this is a gang-themed game where you are killing and robbing cars and stealing things as much as you can, uh, I like to have my player look as harmless as possible. And I find that giving him a kind of a sad expression works out the best. Also, really skinny and thin. Kind of emaciated, actually. Alright, let's do it. Watches! I got watches here! Yo, hey man, this shit that cost you $600 in the store! Oh, whatever! Watches! Hey, I baby, got watches. I could show you a good time. Oh, hell no! Man, fuck the rollers! LeVar, you gonna let those bitches disrespect us? Shit, what you think? What the fuck you think you're doing? Just being civic-minded is all. That's so? Yeah, some dumbass cracker went and shit on all over this wall. We just cleaning it up. <laughs> Hector says buenas noches. Shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wrong time, wrong place, dog. You okay, player? Julius, let's move. That don't look so bad. You should be fine. That's Troy. You can thank him later. Hey. The row ain't safe no more, son. We got gangs fighting over shit that ain't theirs. And you in the way? They don't care if you represent or not. Julius, this is no time to recruit. We need all the help we can get, son. No, we need to get our asses out of here. In a minute. Look, the Rose got a problem. Come to the church when you want to be a part of the solution. Well, I wonder what that was all about. I guess we should do what he says. We don't really seem to have a whole lot else going on in our lives. Oh, look. There's the church up there. Uh, so here's the world. Uh, all these little prompts are going to come up and explain game mechanics as we go. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy to figure out. Just take a look around first at our cells. Maybe find the jump button a little bit. Where is it? Oh, there it is. That's yeah, X. Okay. All right. Let's start this mission. Every motherfucker here knows what we need to do. Now those bitches be riding around here thinking they own these streets. I don't care what flags they flying. Rollers, Carnales, Vice Kings. No one's making this nigga scared to walk the road. We about to lock this shit down right now. Yeah. All right, yeah! Yeah! Fuck yeah. yeah! Who the fuck's this guy? Troy and I found him. We're gonna see if he'll ride with us. Julius, if he wants to run with the Saints, he gotta be canonized. Hey, he's right, Julius. Everyone had to do it. You ready for this, player? 
Alright, so here's the first look at combat. Uh, there's all the stuff. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you win or lose. Uh, if you win, you get $1,000 at the end of the mission. Uh, if you lose, you only get 200 but it doesn't really matter. Uh, generally, it depends on how much effort you want to put into it, how much you want to run away. Uh, I don't really like to block, so uh, I've beaten this a couple times, but I've lost a couple times too, as you're about to see. But, you know, it's really not too, not too bad. It just depends on whether your opponents block or not, as you see. And also, if they get around you, they can just beat on you. So I lose this. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Oh, well. Next time, maybe. That's enough. Come on, get on your feet. We all went through that. Blood in, blood out. Welcome to the Third Street Saints. Let's get down to business. If we're serious about taking back the row, we gotta let those motherfuckers know what time it is. Now you break it down, and it's all about respect. Get enough of it, they're gonna back off, and we're gonna move right on in. We got some friends in town that could use some help. Give them a hand. Cause, you can always drop any motherfucker flying the wrong flag. So long as word gets out that the Saints is on the row, I don't give a damn how you do it. You feel me? I feel you, Julius. All right, that's our first mission. We get some cash, not as much as if we had won, but it'll do. We get to recruit a homie, explain that. We get the wheel woman, which comes up a little later. And we have our first homie, Troy. All right, man. Time for you to buy a piece. All right, Troy, let's buy a piece. So this is the part of the game that really just kind of walks you through everything. Uh, what's nice about it is it tells you the buttons as you see and tells you what to do, but also gives you some fun stuff to do. Apparently, the Vice 9 is the only gun I can afford because I <clears throat> lost. But we don't really need to buy any extra ammo. Because as you can see, we'll be picking some up very soon. So combat in this game, uh, you aim with the right control stick. Oh, yeah, check out our inventory. Just one pistol for now. Aim with the right con control stick. Shoot with right trigger. Pretty easy. No auto aim. It's all about your ability to aim. Uh, it's pretty easy, you know, as long as you don't completely spaz out on the thumbstick, like I tend to do sometimes. Or if you have a tough time leading opponents, like I do sometimes. But, you know, the enemy's accuracy is pretty bad. And you have re uh, rejuvenating health. So it's not too bad. Alright, driving. Y to get into the car. A to accelerate. X to brake, reverse. What they don't tell you is the most useful thing to know. And that if you get a turn, left trigger is a handbrake. Whoops. Which gives you a power slide. And that is extremely useful if you want to take any turns at speed. Coming up here on the right is Forgive and Forget. This is where you go to erase all notoriety, which is a very, very useful place. And you can actually use it to break a couple missions, which we will be seeing in action the further we get. Hey man, now that everything's taken care of, can you drop me off at Freckle Bitches? I'm Jones for a fun bag. All right then. And that's another mission. We get some more cash. And we also start to fill up our respect bar. And a respect bar is really what... Oh, well, we also get our crib, too. It's pretty exciting. Let's go check it out. Set GPS marker. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can regain health without... Oops. Word has gotten out that the Saints ain't bullshit. Now we're gonna lock our rep down. Again, about the respect meter. Uh, basically, if you look at the map, there's all these blue icons for different things you do. This is like showing us right now. And you earn respect, and once you earn respect, you can do more missions. 
It's the way you, you just don't blast through the game. You actually have to explore the world a little bit, which is nice. Right now, I'm adding this car to my garage. It's pretty easy. Just park it inside and leave. Let's take a look at my crib. Whoops. Tripping over walkers here. So, it's, you know, it's got its charm. You can only have got a couple weapons in the weapons cache right now. But basically, any weapons you pick up will end up here. You can try different things. Take out some ammo. There's our money stash over here. As we get through the game, we start owning more hoods, so we get more money every day. Here's our wardrobe. I'll probably buy some clothes pretty soon. Whoops. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to make this not work safe. Whoops. There I go again. Gosh. But uh, if you're wearing different kinds of clothes, uh, you actually get additional respect when you do the activities. So let's start an activity right now. Uh, as of right now, I'm not planning on doing every activity in the game. Uh, there's only about five or six different kinds. Oh, sorry. Let me turn this music off. It's kind of obnoxious, thank you. Uh, there's only about five or six different kinds in the game, and they all go about at least six or seven levels where they get difficulty, and you really don't need to watch me doing the same thing 21 times. Uh, so what I'm thinking about doing is either just showing off the mechanics in the first couple levels for each instance and the cutscenes, or maybe doing a compilation style. Uh, I haven't even beaten all of the different activities. They get pretty hard and or frustrating. So I'll show off the first levels, two levels of this one, because that's all there are, and the cutscene, and then we'll see how we go from there. So let's get started. What's going on, bro? Julius called and said you might be stopping by. Look, you looking for a little something, something? Because if so, I can let Peggy over there give you a ride. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Look, brother, I got to be honest. I'm trying to get a business started here. But right now, the only hoe I got is so fugly blind motherfuckers turn her down. Now, if you could bring me back some of them fine bitches who are turning trick to other pimps, I'd be able to start seeing some real money. But I ain't asking for something for nothing. I mean, you help me out, I'll cut you in on what the bitches make, and I'll spread the word that the saints are the real deal. All right, so let's steal hoes from their abusive pimps. Although, I don't know if that guy is really any better, you so I call that. The only hoe he had, he called her Fugly. I don't, that's kind of a form of abuse, right? So on the map, just shows us where to go. Cruise on over, fill this pimp full of lead. You can shoot out of your car, which is helpful. Pimp gets inside, and that's all. Uh, you get the hose the same way you get homies. By pressing up on the D-pad. If you need to cancel at a time, you can press down on the D-pad. But that's all there is to it. That's level one. Let's go ahead and continue. Oh, look at that. Our respect bar filled up. Ah, let's go ahead and continue. Get some more hose. Whoops. So we need two hoes this time. Fortunately, there are two hoes around this pimp. So it shouldn't be too bad. You can see our gang notoriety is filling up in the left-hand corner. Get closer. Shoot the pimp. One hoe. Now where'd the other hoe go? Ah, oh, there she goes. She's running across the street. I have a little trouble with here. I keep pressing up. But it's not registering for some reason. I guess I'm not close enough to the hoe. She keeps running away for some reason. I just have to... She keeps screaming too. Okay, just go. have to keep running over old ladies and hitting traffic lights to get close enough to the hoe. And then we go back. You can see our gang notoriety has gone up to two of the gang symbols. That just it, uh, The higher it gets, the more stuff they'll send at you. But usually it takes a while for it to spawn. You can see one guy coming at us. But we just drive right over him, and here we are. So that's all the instances of levels. That means we get an award, not to mention more respect. First of all, we get Will, the pimp in the cutscene. Now we can call him up, and he can come help us out and kill guys. We can unlock more missions.